welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. This tutorial is a continuation of the previous series of the state flow. In case you are liking the channel, please consider subscribing for such content. So let's look into the detail of a truth table and where we will be using a truth table in a real life scenario. Suppose we are launching a rocket and the rocket is being controlled with some um, control logics. So in that case, we will have different situations which we need to verify in the rocket to validate whether we need to launch the rocket in that scenario or what is the current state of the rocket based on the different situations that is present in the rocket. So we will see one by one. This is a real life example. Suppose we have launched the rocket. So in that case, suppose we have a truth table, which you can see here. So the truth table will have uh, different statements or different conditions, which you need to validate based on their truth value. So a truth value can be a true value or can be a false value. It can be also considered as yes or no. So in our case, we are considering yes as the positive scenario and no as the negative scenario. Here the first statement is, is the rocket is having enough fuel. So if the rocket is not having enough fuel, you will not be able to launch the rocket because that is not suitable for launching. Next statement is, is the rocket is having enough thrust? Even if you have the fuel, are you able to generate enough thrust to lift the rocket? That is one more condition that you can consider while dealing with such scenarios. Is the height is increasing for the rocket or not? That is the third situation. So third statement which you can validate there will be different stages for the rocket so based on different stages suppose there is a uh, one stage called third stage when it is complete we mean to say like the rocket is already on the way to moon suppose we are going to the moon and the last scenario is suppose uh, we are checking whether the rocket is being landed or not so for individual statements we have a truth value so all these are statements and we have different different truth values so we have different scenarios and we have different truth values so suppose the uh, so on top whatever the individual columns you are able to see these are decision columns so you can remark it as d1 and d2 so there suppose there are two decisions columns you have d1 and d2 and uh, the, uh, the corresponding decisions will lead to some actions so these are the actions in this case, um, if the rocket is having enough fuel, so if it is true, and if the rocket is having enough thrust to create, okay, then um, is the height is increasing? Yes. Okay. And stage three is completed. Yes. Okay. The rocket is not yet landed. So this means uh, we we are considering some action in this case. So it means that the rocket is on the way okay the rocket is on the flight not yet reached to the uh, landing surface so that is what the conclusion in this case next uh, if you go for the decision 2 table in that case uh, so rocket is so the rocket is having enough fuel no okay the rocket is having enough thrust no okay and is the height is increasing no right so as the rocket is not moving up so height is not increasing and then uh, is uh, the rocket completed the stage 3 so it is also not completed so basically we are taking all the negative conditions and um, in this scenario we will be taking a action okay we will be taking a conclusion or action uh, that uh, conclusion on action will be uh, scenario 2 or action 2 so correspondingly it will link to this uh, action chart and here uh, it is mentioned that the rocket is not ready for launch 
so in this case uh, we have taken different different truth values for different scenarios and we are concluding some actions based on those scenarios so that is how a usual truth table works uh, it validates different uh, situations and based on individual truth values like this yes or uh, this no uh, as you can see here so based on the combination of these truth values uh, basically these are ended so if any one of them is uh, no then you will have a different decision uh, compared to if everything is yes so uh, based on the combination of all the truth values so you will be deciding which action you want to take and uh, that you can uh, perform while doing the action part so this is just an example which is being uh, which can be used uh, for such scenarios we will see uh, the detail of uh, the truth table implementing in uh, state flow in the upcoming tutorial in case you are liking the channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any query please let us know in the comment section so that it will help us to improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel so have a great day ahead and happy learning matlab